Hey everybody, I am back again. Now this video is just a review of my visit to Georgia and NY in the city. Um, the address is 89 East Houston Street in New York City, of course. And so my appointment was May 6, um, 11. And I got there kind of early, like real early. Um, and I think I own, the crazy thing is I thought I was going to be running late waiting for the bus to get down there because I didn't feel like going in the subway dealing with the heat and whatnot so I decided to wait for the bus and I got there at least 10 minutes before and the shop is absolutely gorgeous as you've seen I took the footage for you guys so you can see and it was really really nice um, the receptionist was really nice and the person that did my hair was Jennifer Rose she's so sweet conversation was great she made me feel comfortable and I would definitely go back again so I got a trim and you know I was asking her like you know like what's the condition of my hair um, is it bad because I wasn't sure because I said it's shedding and I feel like it's shedding too much but she said I may be thinking of shedding a lot when it's just you know the normal amount which could be true but who knows but um she washed my hair wait what she did well she um she had to blow out my hair a little bit so that she can cut it properly because you can't really cut here while it's my hair was tight in my head, so she had to blow it out a little bit. She trimmed it, and she said that my hair was in good condition. She just said the next time that I come back for a trim that I shouldn't wait so long to get a trim, which I'm not going to lie. I did wait forever to get a proper trim, that is, because I told her, you know, usually when I did my two-string twist, that I would dust it myself, just cut off the raggedy ends, but I didn't get, you know, this was my first time getting a full trim, excuse me, and... When I say the results are phenomenal, ladies, don't wait too long like I did, but after getting the trim, your hair feels totally different. It doesn't even feel like the hair that was on your head before, I'm not going to lie. So she trimmed it, and she shampooed, and she deep conditioned, and she deep conditioned my hair with a new Carol's Daughter deep conditioner smelled great and I was under the dryer for maybe like 15-25 minutes and then she washed that out and she conditioned my hair and then she just sort of um, twirled my hair a little bit with her fingers she actually used um, I think the burnt sugar pomade by Oyen and she used a Carol's Daughter I think it was like a liquid kind of gel and she used something else I don't quite remember but everything smelled great I when I was leaving I said oh that's my hair smell like that. It smells great. And the experience was just really good. I would definitely go back. I was talking to her about doing a color because I hate the color that's in the end of my hair right now. I can't wait for it to grow out. I think it's all dry and nasty. That's why I want it to come out. And we were discussing colors and stuff. So she said that she would do my color for me, which I'm super excited about. But my hair feels totally different. When I got home, I was like, ooh. It was soft and my hair now actually has a shape because before my hair was short back here I guess this, that's how it was growing and then it would get really high up here and I mean I love the fact that it's growing but I just sort of felt at one point it just looked weird like I don't like the way it looks on my like fit my face so now it has more of a shape and it feels totally different my ends feel great that deep conditioner worked magic I don't remember the name of it, but it smells great, and this is my hair now. When I got home, I just sort of like twisted a little bit and just let them out, and this is it. And um, I want to say she took about an inch and a half off all around there were some areas that she said actually didn't have any um you know dry scraggly ends and whatnot but i want to say about an inch and a half and i'm okay with it because it's my fault that i took so long to get a trim and she said next time don't wait so long so i'm not um maybe i'll go back i think you're supposed to go like twice a year or something like that like this is my first time going and i'm thinking should i be going in the next three to four months or six months not sure if anybody knows please help us sister out i'm very unsure of when's the next time i'm supposed to be going but i definitely do know for the summer i want to get a color so hopefully by july 
whatever color is left on the end of this is out. So, let me see something. So this is my hair, and it was actually a little bit down here, a little bit down here, and I'm okay with it. Like, it looks extremely short to me, but I know that I have shrinkage really, really bad, so it is what it is. Anyways, um, if you live in the New York City metro area or Tri-State, I would definitely say go down to Georgia and NY. You won't be disappointed. This, I have to say, this has to be the most unique store I've ever been in for it to be a boutique and, you know, like a salon in the back of the store. They also sell, they sell perfume, they sell jewelry, they sell clutches, they sell bags, they sell glasses. They sell um, hair care as far as Oyen. They sell, what is it? Twisted Girl or Twisted Lady. They sell, they sell a couple of stuff. So if you're down there and you're interested, I say go stop and buy. You'll enjoy it. And I'm super pleased with my hair. It's not even funny. And I'm super pleased because I can feel the difference from when I got my trim. So that's my hair and thanks for watching. Don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Please check out Georgia NY. Um, I'm not sure if they have a Facebook page, but I do know they're on Twitter and they do talk about events on Twitter, so that'll be good. I don't have a Twitter. I kind of feel like Facebook and MySpace is enough and sometimes I get overwhelmed with Facebook because of the things that people write. Like. Not everybody should know your business, like about your baby daddy and whatnot. So I try to stay away from that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the footage of the store so you can see it. And once again, if you're in the city, stop on by. And I cannot wait to do my hair color. I'm excited. I wish I could have done it, you know, when I was there. <laughs> but I decided to wait until I grow out all my color and then do it. Anyways, so, sorry if I sound a little, I don't know if it's the allergies or if it's a cold, but I'm sick of it. I've been sick for the past couple days now. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.